so the next presenter is Scope AR. David Nedowin is uh, going to come out and talk to you right now. Thanks. Thanks, Ethan. Good morning. I'm David Nedowin with Scope AR. Thank you for all attending. At Scope AR, we build augmented reality solutions and products for industrial applications. Uh, we've worked with a number of clients uh, from many industries, from oil and gas, military, mining, uh, automotive, manufacturing, and aerospace. And the one thing that we've identified is that there are, in fact, common problems that are consistent from industry to industry. One of the most common problems that we found is when a piece of equipment goes down in the field and a technician who's either not trained or not qualified or you know, simply not comfortable in repairing it is the one on site. And one of two things generally happens. Either the technician tries to repair it or he leaves the equipment down for an expert to arrive and get it up and running. If the techn technician tries to repair it and isn't exactly sure how to do it, it could be extremely dangerous or if he does it wrong, could cost literally millions of dollars to the company. Alternatively, it could cost the company a lot of money waiting for a very high paid expert to get onto the site and try and get it up and running. In the meantime, it's not producing, which is you know, a bad thing. And by the time the expert does get there, he may find it's actually a reasonably easy fix and that the technician could have actually done it with just a little bit of support. So the organization does have the expertise, it's just not where you need it at the time. So we're extremely excited to announce and launch today the resolution to that problem, and it's remote AR. Remote AR is, in, in its most basic form, the ability to send a video signal from the technician's hardware device to an expert that's at a remote location, and the expert in real time can provide instructional information through augmented reality back to the technician. So I'm gonna play a short video that's gonna give you a real life example of how remote AR works to give a little better uh, understanding of it. Every day, across all major industries, more and more sophisticated machines are entering the workplace. The responsibility for maintaining and troubleshooting this equipment falls to specialists, and there are never enough of them to go around. The same story plays out again and again. The pressure is on, things go wrong, and the expert is not around. Your organization has the knowledge, but it's not where you need it. Remote AR is a mobile connectivity solution designed specifically for expert support with a complete set of features allowing off-site experience to be delivered directly to the pain point through whoever is on site. Hey Keith, what's up? Hey Rick, I've got a problem with my inputs here and we go live in 20 minutes. Give me a closer look at this. Okay, let's start with the easy fix. Go around to the back of the rack. Second cabinet from the right there. You mean this one? Yep, that's it. Okay, you're gonna have a loose RJ45 that needs to go in the main input. Uh... Like this. Oh, yeah, got it. Check the screens now. Yeah, no good. Okay, you need to find the router on your left, low down, close to the floor. Got it. Take off the front panel like this. Okay, I need you to power down in this order. One, two, three, four. There's one output card that gave us a hard time before. I need you to reseed it. I'm gonna feed you the card identifiers and take out the input cards. They're not your problem. And the one you need is this one. Make sure you release those locks here and here and it should come right out. Okay, now what? Just give me a look at it. Hold it still. Okay, it looks fine. Slide it back in nice and tight and the locks will click. Good. Okay, so power up? Yep, let's see what we've got. And... Oh, we're up and running. Thanks, Rick. No problem, Keith. Remote AR. Put your knowledge where you need it. So I think that gives you a pretty good understanding of how simple remote AR and how effective it is. In that situation, we showed both the technician and the expert using tablets, but we're completely agnostic to the hardware. 
Uh, we deploy on glasses, uh, tablets, um, operating systems, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, we're partners with some of the top glass companies, including Epson and ODG. But regardless of the device, the expert has the ability to upload content to support the technician. And that could be content that's rich 3D animations and models, if it's available for that object. If it isn't, the expert has the ability to utilize simple instructional AR tools like drawing, highlight, and arrows. And that's really important because it makes it immediately deployable to entire organizations today. From the technician's perspective, it gives him the confidence of knowing that he's got the expert looking over his shoulder and providing guidance and support on every step. I'm David Edwin with Scope AR, and that is Remote AR. Thank you. <laughs>